All right, Big Sue. So after Doyle asked me to move in with him, everything started falling into place, and it was happening at lightning speed. It was like I was living in my own fairy tale, and it was magical. My own land of wishes, hopes, and dreams. But it didn't matter that I was the guy with no past because I was becoming the man with a beautiful future. And that future was with Doyle. Well, this is the last of my stuff. Thank you again, Stephanie, for letting me stay here. And more importantly, thank you for letting my mom stay here as well. I'm just sorry this became so much. Please don't apologize. That's what best friends are for. And I will be over to your place with Doyle soon. I mean, that's just a thing, Mom. Part of me moving out is to get away from the past. Stop, Paul, just so stop it, okay? Stop it right there. I am so sick of hearing you say that. You may have forgotten who you are, but rest assured, I have not. You are my son. You are my pride and joy, who I love more than anything in the world, and no memory loss is ever going to take that away. I have loved you from the moment you were born. I have believed in you and all of your dreams. And I've been there when you needed a, a shoulder to cry on. I've given you my ears to listen to your hopes. And most importantly, I have held my love for you in my heart as only a mother could. And I've raised you to be a good and decent man. So, while you may not remember who you are, I do. And I know that one day you will again. So please do not walk out that door and expect me to stop loving you or give up on you or forget about you. Because, Paul, that will not happen. Okay, then just give Doyle and I some time to adjust and I will let you know as soon as you can come over. That's all I'm asking. Okay. Bye. <laughs> Bye. He's going to remember. I know he will. He's my son. We should have some puppy business to take care of. I am so excited about moving in. I'm so excited about this session. I feel like everything is just coming together. Seems like everything's meant to be. Welcome, gentlemen. Shall we begin? After you, sir. Well, Tamara, this is the famous Doyle that I have told you about once or twice. I'm sure it's been more than that, Doc. My lips are sealed. Doctor, patient, confidentiality, and all of that. Well, it is a pleasure to meet you. Paul has filled me in all of your sessions, and I am just surprised by all the amazing progress you've both have made. I mean, I wouldn't say amazing progress. I still don't have any of my memories. Well, we talked about that. That might not be your end goal right now, Paul. I know. It's just that my mother said something this morning sort of just struck a nerve. Well, you, you didn't mention anything to me earlier. That's because I thought it would come up in session, and shockingly, my mother has once again become the center of my therapy session. What did your mother say that upset you? It's not so much something she said that upset me. It's just... She just seemed disappointed, that's all. How so? I feel that she thinks that me getting control out to lead on my life is sort of giving up and becoming someone that she does not recognize. Do you feel that way? I haven't until now. What do you say? I'm saying that it's wonderful to have a, a blank canvas to work with a fresh start, but what if I'm missing something? What if I want the memories, the good and the bad? Well, you're working with a lot of what ifs right now, Paul. I know, but that's exactly the world that I'm living in, the world of what ifs, and I don't know if I want that anymore. And sorry, sorry, I'm really sorry. This was supposed to be a fun session. I was gonna bring my boyfriend in and I was gonna share him with you and I'm just regressing back to square one. No one's regressing, Paul. You can still have that session if you want. Yes, we, we want you to be okay. We all just want you to be happy. I know, it's just sometimes my mother gets in my head. Like this time, it was right before the senior prom and I hadn't come out to her, but you know, like moms always know, right? So she had told me, she goes, Paul, no matter who you take to the senior prom, as long as they make you happy, I'm happy. And it was a weird thing for her to say, but I 
kind of think she was giving me permission to come out. Paul, you haven't talked like this before. In fact, I think you just had a crystal clear memory. I did. It was. Huh. Does this mean he's back to normal? Well, Doyle, in this office, we don't quantify things with being normal or not normal, but I think this is a very good indicator that Paul might be starting to regain some of his memories. What else do you remember from this time? Uh, I mean, let me see. I don't think anything. I mean, I couldn't tell you who I eventually took to my senior prom, but that's mainly because I got blackout drunk and ended up in the hospital getting my stomach pumped. Oh my gosh, I did it again. <laughs> <laughs> that was another memory. That was a memory. Whoa. Oh, 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 la, Lucci. <laughs> Wait a second, it was Kyle. Yes? Who's Kyle? Oh, Kyle, that's who I took to my senior prom. Uh, he was, he was the love of my life. He was my high school sweetheart. And even though we were just high school sweethearts, I felt like we were destined to be together. I loved him. Paul, I understand that we're talking about your past, but you're talking about him as though he was someone who's no longer with us. Well, are you okay? Yeah, no, I, I am, actually. It's just Kyle, right after graduation, he ghosted me. He ghosted me before I was even called that, and never heard from him again. I, sorry, I don't know why I'm so fixated on Kyle right now, especially because I have you. <laughs> hmm. Anyway, um, Doc, do you think it would be okay if Doyle and I go back to our place, figure everything out, and just sort of piece together what's going on? Cut this session a little short. Yeah, that's, that's okay with me. It's fine. Just um, go home, get some rest, and start writing down these memories. And that way you can share them with your friends, your mom, with me next time. Hmm? Okay. Would it be all right if I had a moment with Doyle? Oh, um, absolutely. I will... I'll be right outside. So this is exciting, isn't it? It's crazy. I never thought he'd get his memories back. Doyle, will you cut it out with that silly accent? Mm. <clears throat> Sorry. <laughs> you know what this means, though. I know what this means, Mother. <laughs> I know what I have to do. How crazy was that today? It was crazy. It calls for a champagne toast and a celebration. Uh. Mm. I mean, I would love a Cosmo. Did you know that? That that's my drink of choice, a Cosmo. I drink Cosmos just like Carrie Bradshaw. <laughs> Seeing you this excited is so cute. Would you like me to make you a Cosmo instead? No, no, no. It's just that I remember that I like Cosmos. Mm. Yesterday I didn't remember, but today <laughs> I do. Go ahead. Ask me anything. Mm, cheers. Anything. Um, okay. What's your favorite color? Green. Next. <laughs> Who's your favorite actress? Uh, easy. Susan Lucci. Duh. <laughs> Next. Susan Lucci, slow down. I'm just getting to know you all over again. Which begs the question, with all of these memories flooding back, is it affecting how you feel about me? No. On the contrary, they're reinforcing how I feel about you because you have been there for me the entire time I wasn't me. And now that I am me again, I still want you if you still want me. Of course. There was something I was going to bring up to you this morning before all of this started happening. Oh, I have truly enjoyed spending time with you. I love you. You've made me feel things that I have never felt before. Strange little tingly things. <laughs> you make me want to be a, a better man, a more honorable man. And for that reason, if not thousands of reasons more. Well, Rosalind, would you do me the distinct honor of becoming my husband? I get my memories back <laughs> and a fiance on the same day? Yes, of course. Yes? Yes. Oh. Ah, right size. <laughs> Good. It's settled. Uh, you are perfect. 
I mean, I have never loved anyone as much as I love you, and I can say that without a shadow of a doubt because I remember, I remember all of the times I have loved before, and none of them compared to this. Mm, to not us. even Kyle. Kyle, I mean, up until a few hours ago, I didn't even remember that he existed, let alone hurt me in such a way that I never thought I would fall in love again. Well, I, for one, am kind of happy it took you losing all of your memories, including the ones with Kyle, in order to remember how to fall in love again. I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with you. <sighs> this celebration <sighs> calls for some cosmos. I will be <laughs> right back. <laughs> Mom, he said yes. Good job, son. Now get him to the altar and leave the rest to me. <laughs> 